So good morning folks, Richard here again, your tech chef. I'm going to talk to you about um, a flight controller today. It's this new F722 mini flight stack controller from Diatone. Um, Diatone Tina sent it to us on a promo code. So thank you very much for that. Let's dive in and have a look what's going on in here. So F722 flight controller. Looks really interesting, but we'll get into that in a sec. Let's see what else is in the box. So here we have a little packet with some silicon O-rings, obviously to use as spacers. A little pack of four M2, I think they're probably 20 or 25 mil screws. For mounting it a capacitor which I would suggest and recommend you use the pigtail for the XT30 or XT60 whichever you propose to use I use an XT30 on all my small con flight controllers just simply because it, it reduces the weight and makes it a little bit neater a spare cable which obviously you could use if you needed to replace that cable or if you wanted to deepen the one side and solder it to a another flight controller if you needed to use another flight controller as opposed to this one. So that's all. Obviously there's a QR code which you can download the instructions from the Diatone website if you needed to. So I think let's get into what the flight controller is actually made up of and then we can possibly go into a little bit more detail about everything else and how it all connects up and what's involved. So let's talk a little bit about what's on the board, what specifications this board's got. Obviously as you can see it's got a built-in OSD a MPU 6000 gyro, which is one of the more reliable gyros. Obviously it's an F7 processor, which if you split the stack, um, you'll see the F7 processor underneath, or the F7 chip, which is quite a big chip. It's got an onboard flash memory of 16 megabyte. Um, the ESC is capable of D-Shot uh, 150, 300 or 600. Uh, tw as I said, it's a 20 by 20 mounting holes. Um, the whole stack weighs 10.5 grams. Uh, there are a there are dedicated pads for camera control, smart audio. It has an RSSI pad, and it, obviously you can use the Betaflight LED uh, controller system. It's got a 5 volt 1.5 amp back. It has a current sensor built in, and yeah that's pretty much all i can say um there's not else much to these little boards so once again thank you very much to D tina from diatone for sending us the flight controllers on the promo um, i think what we'll do in the next video is probably is we'll start to put together a mini quadcopter and we'll use this diatone flight stack and then what i could possibly do is a build video to see how this would all be incorporated into a little quadcopter and yeah i'm quite excited to see how this all goes together once again thank you very much like and subscribe below if you like it and i'll have a link to the flight controller if you wanted to buy one thank you very much cheerio